Today is a very dark day for the anime and manga community, and no, I don't mean literally because my room is super dark, I have terrible lighting right now, but if you haven't heard already, it is official, or rather it was leaked, that Right Stuff Anime, our beloved online manga retailer, is shutting down for good. Hey what's going on guys, my name is Promise, you welcome back to a brand new video. Now of course, today's video is one that I'm basically just shooting off the cuff because I just got home from work, saw this terrible news, so I decided I wanted to relay it to all of you guys who have not yet heard. If you guys don't know or you've just forgotten, I believe it was sometime last year that Crunchyroll or Sony acquired Right Stuff. And with this came a few changes, most notably the elimination of all 18 plus products from the website. But I guess it was only a matter of time before Sony decided to send Right Stuff down the drain once and for all to integrate Crunchyroll and Right Stuff. And that day is finally here. Now this news first broke, I believe, from the Twitter account Manga Alerts. He has done great great work for the manga community these past couple years and he had an associate that he's close with who's a business partner with right stuff and that partner got this email or this kind of press release that was basically meant for other companies and publishers who work with right stuff giving them an update on the situation telling them how things may change and of course this has since leaked to the public and this is absolutely everywhere i mean crunchyroll is trending on twitter so many people are talking about it dming me telling me about this story and Sadly, I'm already aware. But let's go ahead and look at this actual press release slash statement that was sent out to these companies that work with Right Stuff and publishers, and let's see what they're talking about. Many of you are already aware that Right Stuff was acquired by Crunchyroll late last year in August of 2022 in order to expand the latter e-commerce services. Since then, we've been working hard towards integrating our collective websites into a one-stop shop for everything anime and manga, and now that time has come. On October 10th, 2023, Right Stuff will sunset and all listed products at rightstuff.com will migrate over to their new home at the Crunchyroll store at store.crunchyroll.com. It's the end of an era to be sure, but all of us at Crunchyroll want to assure you that this is also the beginning of a bright orange future. So what does Right Stuff Sunset mean going forward? First off, and most importantly, anime and manga fans will still be able to find all our products, which are previously listed at Right Stuff, now at the Crunchyroll store. Our buyers will continue to place purchase orders and we have a goal to reach even more fans who love owning the physical products you offer. We also want to continue to pursue any partnership opportunities with you, this meaning publishers and companies, from exclusive items to mutually beneficial promotions, just to name a few. With integration, we've practically acquired a new superpower, piggybacking on Crunchyroll's already expansive reach into anime fandom via its streaming services, and with that in mind, we're aiming to grow our e-commerce offerings as well. Looking into the immediate future, we are still planning for a 2023 holiday sale similar to what Right Stuff has been known for, but there will be some changes as to how the sale operates. We'll be reaching out to you soon with details to follow and hope to have you on board for the Crunchyroll holiday sale in 2023. We're fans just like you and we want to see anime and manga continue to thrive and grow. We appreciate your support but if you have any questions or concerns please reach out to any member of the buying merchandising team yada yada yada. All right so from this press release there are some things that we do know and a lot of things that we don't yet know. The first thing that we do know is that they're planning to integrate Right Stuff's whole catalog of products into the Crunchyroll website. The second thing is that they're planning to carry the torch as far as the Right Stuff sales go. Obviously, one of the best things about Right Stuff was their sales, whether it be their weekly discounted prices, weekly sales, but more importantly, their holiday sales with the birthday and Christmas one. But besides just those two things, there is still a lot up in the air and I don't want to speculate too much on a lot of it. We'll talk about some major concerns that most people, myself included, are having at the moment. We'll start off talking about this idea of integrating right stuff and Crunchyroll. Now, it makes sense to have this big brand called Crunchyroll that most people know in the anime and manga community. If you already have this other company acquired, you might as well bring them to your main website with all the products. They said in this statement that it's going to be a kind of one-stop shop for all manga and anime products. And from a consumer standpoint, at the very baseline, that sounds like a good thing. You know, you don't have to go to all these websites to find the products you want, but Realistically, I don't think this is a good thing. First and foremost, Right Stuff is a company that has been around for a long time. I believe even before Amazon. I mean, they've been around since they were started in like a basement, shipping stuff out like a mail order catalog. You no know, licensing, distributing, and bringing these anime series from Japan 
to the West in the early days, all the way to being the biggest manga retailer in the United States of America. I mean, they've come so far. They started from nothing and now they're being dissolved into an even bigger company. And I mean, this just sucks. I mean, when you have these unique companies with unique offerings, when they're all being dissolved into one just corporate conglomerate that's already kind of has a monopoly on the anime and manga industry to begin with, I mean, it's just not a thing you want to see. And I thought it was interesting at the end how they said, we cannot wait to see anime and manga continue to thrive and grow, what, by building an even larger monopoly on the medium and the industry at large? I think the only thing they care about seeing grow is the profits and those green numbers on the year-end reports. I don't think they really care about the manga consumers getting the best prices the best product or the best experience, to be honest. And the second big thing they mentioned is that there's going to be some sort of holiday sale similar to the one that Right Stuff has done in the past, but with some changes. And again, there is still a lot we don't know. The prices or the discounts may not be as large as we've gotten in the past. Maybe it'll just be all these products on sale at once for an amount of time instead of cycling in new things like Right Stuff tends to do with their sales in the past. We do not know at this point, but I'm glad they're at least doing something to kind of carry on the legacy of this company that so many people have bought from and enjoyed doing business with. But besides just the holiday sale, a lot of people are wondering how are the other aspects of Right Stuff's business model going to change when everything goes over to Crunchyroll, the big one being pricing. I mean, the prices at Right Stuff for time were the best you could find anywhere. And you know, you have places like In Stock Trades, Takara Cafe, Alibris, with similar or even sometimes better prices. Now, I'm not a big customer with Crunchyroll, but I don't think they're exactly a cost leader in the space. That's just from what I've seen. So I don't know if these prices will be, again, full retail or if they'll be similar to Right Stuff. We'll have to wait and see. Another thing that people have loved about Right Stuff is the packaging and logistics, these quick shipping times compared to other retailers. And again, we don't know. I think that Right Stuff really has a valuable competitive advantage when it comes to logistics. So I think that this Iowa warehouse that's located in Grimes, I believe, will probably be the main hub, I'm assuming. But if for some reason, Sony decides to completely switch up the logistical aspect of this company, I think there could be huge shakeups, and I really hope there aren't. Another thing that this integration leads to that I haven't seen a whole lot of people talk about, but that is kind of important for me especially and other creators, is the elimination of the Right Stuff affiliate program and these other collaborations they've had with creators. Now, if you guys don't know, in most all my videos and lots of other manga creators, they have Right Stuff affiliate links where if you click on the link, it takes you to their website, same as always, but a piece of your purchase actually gets sent to the creator who you click their link of and they get a little bit of cut. Now, granted, it was never a massive portion of the purchase that went back to the creator, but it was still something. It was a great way for viewers when they were just buying products like they always would to support the creators that they enjoyed watching. And now that's basically gone. I mean, I don't think Crunchyroll has any sort of affiliate program and would they be willing to work with a smaller creator like me now as this massive anime manga company? I doubt it. Similar to this, Right Stuff would always be doing these collaborations and things with creators big and small. I mean, when I hit a thousand subscribers on YouTube, I reached out to Right Stuff and they did like a $50 gift card giveaway for me. This nobody who had just started a channel like a few months ago. I mean, it was crazy. Just the amount of love and support they showed for the community and these creators who promoted their products and business. And now I can assume that that's basically all going to be evaporated. Which just plays right into the whole idea that this dissolving of Right Stuff, this company that has been so focused on the anime and manga community, it's just gone. I mean, all this history built up, all of their marketing efforts, the trust and equity that they've built up within the community as a brand is all being evaporated. And I know Crunchyroll is a bigger company and they think that, you know, people will be more likely to buy from a bigger company. But if they take a look around, I don't think Crunchyroll and Sony have the best reputation in the anime and manga communities. And, you know, I don't think that the majority of people who bought from Right Stuff are going to automatically say, it's the same thing, I'm just gonna go buy stuff at Crunchyroll. Like, no, you have to have that trust that is built up between company and consumer. And based off of what I'm seeing online right now, a lot of people are very upset with Crunchyroll and Sony at this dissolving of Right Stuff. And I think it's a pretty good possibility that a lot of consumers will just not buy from Crunchyroll out of spite for getting rid of their favorite company. And finally, on a little bit more of a personal level, I don't want to get into this too much because a lot of it is up in the air, but me, I actually live in Iowa and I have some sort of a connection to people at 
that right stuff. And there was actually a chance that with this connection, I would have an opportunity to perhaps work for right stuff to really get my hands into this industry that I love so much and do some great work. But with right stuff gone, that opportunity is pretty much wiped away. I mean, I'm assuming that the position that I would have applied for will probably still exist in some capacity, but instead of being in Iowa, close to where I live, it'd probably be in some Silicon Valley office. So that's one of the big takeaways I've had this terrible afternoon of bad news that this potential job opening that I've been wanting for so long basically no longer exists, but you know, it is what it is. I'll find something else. But besides just that, this news has affected the manga and anime community at large. It's really a bad thing. I don't have high hopes for the continuing of great deals and great sales from Crunchyroll, but who knows, maybe I'm just being cynical. We'll have to wait and see what changes come in the future. And of course, I'll keep you guys updated as those major announcements come out. But that is the situation as we have it right now. Make sure to go in the comments below. Let me know, are you excited for this acquisition or resolving right stuff? Or are you on the logical side being kind of skeptical and not happy about it like I am? Of course, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more manga videos just like this. So yeah, this has been The Prom G. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. And as always, hope to catch you in the next one.